Okay, I decided just to go with simplicity as far as the breather. I spent so much time working on everything on this car today that when I got through, I just left the big breather on there and slapped that flywheel down and put that Ford V8 hubcap on top of that. That's going to be good enough. Well, in our last adventure, I had hooked up a PCV valve to this thing to try to suck out some of the, some of the, uh, never mind. Well, some of y'all might remember the other day I added a PCV valve to the rat rod and it did help with some of the back pressure from the motor. Not that it makes the back pressure go away because the only thing that's going to help with that is a new set of rings and uh, honing the cylinders or boring them out or something like that. But I'm just trying to get by. And I noticed the other day when I hooked up the PCV valve it seemed like it ran really well. It didn't smoke nearly as much. But I had it on a pretty smallish line. Uh, this line here and uh, there's a much that's the one that goes in front of the carburetor there's a much larger opening in the back of the carburetor that is uh, actually probably for that and I didn't have a uh, I didn't have a fitting to fit in there that was just plugged off so I went to the hardware store this was originally a gas line uh, and the hole in it was very small and I put it on the drill press and I drilled the hole out to get more more airflow through it and I'm gonna put it on there and then run bigger line straight down to the PCV valve and then see if that makes a difference if I'm able to get more uh, a little more flow through that thing so that's what we'll do you, you may notice too I've got that uh, K&N air filter back on here I just took it out for a drive to warm it up I was running at 55 miles an hour in third gear to, just to make sure I got it good and hot so that I could get a good flow of uh, back, back, back pressure going there. And it seemed like it ran just great with that breather on there. I can't tell that it's any, any real difference between that and the big one. So it kind of leaves me exactly, you know, wide open for how I want to do whether I want to go with uh, the big breather or the small one. Anyway, I'll hush and get a wrench and tighten that up and we'll try it out. Well, I'm driving her in. She feels absolutely fine. I'm perfectly happy with it. I don't know what else to say, except that I'm just going to ride around and have a little fun.